It's not easy for an athlete to perform to their max potential every time they race, but under certain circumstances, some athletes were known to summon their peak performance and become almost unbeatable. In this video, I'll be talking about those circumstances where athletes demonstrate what seemed to be superpower-fueled speed. The first sprinter I'm going to highlight in this video is a Safa Powell who ran tremendously well when he was relaxed. He ran his most relaxed when he was competing in one-off meets away from the pressures of major championships and performed especially well when he wasn't racing against another 9.7 sprinter. Powell was one of the most consistently explosive starters throughout his career and he usually buried the rest of the field by 30 meters but in the races where another athlete was putting pressure on him in the final 30 meters he would often appear to tense up or even slow down before the line intentionally if he thought he was going to be overtaken. When Powell ran completely relaxed and felt no pressure however he had the ability to break the world record and managed to do so four times. In four of those races, the closest anyone came to him in second place was when Tyson Gay finished 0.07 seconds behind it in Zurich, but in the other races, the gap between first and second was massive. Powell set his personal best of 9.72 in Lausanne in 2008, and it's considered one of the best ever displays of sprinting from start to finish, with absolutely no tensing up or easing up before the line. Paul is rumoured to have run 9.6 in training, which would be further evidence of his ability to execute a 100m race perfectly while relaxed, if it is true. The next sprinter I'd like to highlight is someone who did the unthinkable by setting his 100m personal best at age 40 while running an elite time of 9.93. Kim Collins ran his first sub 10 second 100m race in 2002, age 26, but from 2004 to 2012, he failed to break 10 seconds again. He had a resurgence in form in 2013 at age 37 and managed to run under 10 seconds in 4 consecutive seasons, setting his personal best in 2016. Kim Collins is the only sprinter at the elite level to peak at such a late point in his career, which is why I think late 30s Kim Collins deserves a place in this video for doing something completely abnormal. Collins ran in major championships 21 years apart, running in the 1996 Olympics and the 2017 World Champs. He won a World Championship title along the way, taking the gold in Paris in 2003. The strongest part of Collins' race was his start, and because of his start, he was an excellent 60 meter sprinter and has run under 6.5 in three consecutive seasons from 2014 to 2016. He set his personal best of 6.47 in 2015 and made it to the World Indoors final in 2016, a month before turning 40. Sometimes an athlete can have a single season of performances that stand out so much that you wonder how they are possible. Justin Gatlin was a top level sprinter with a career spanning two decades, but what he did in 2015 struggles to be explained. At age 33, Justin Gatlin opened his 2015 season by running a time of 9.74 in Doha, which was the fastest season opener in history. This time would stand as his personal best for the rest of his career, but it was just a sign of things to come for his 2015 season. He ran 9.75 in Rome the next month, followed by another 9.75 in Lausanne, then a 9.78 in Monaco. The World Championships were being held in Beijing in August that year, and he ran a very impressive time of 9.83 in the heats, then set the fastest ever time run in the semi-finals with 9.77. This took his tally to 5 sub 9.8 runs throughout the season, which is still the most ever recorded by an athlete in a single year. He went into the final as the Red Hot favourite to win, with both struggling from injury problems during the season, but he couldn't cap off the standout year of his career with a win and finish in a time of 9.80 just behind Bolt who finished first with 9.79. .9. Gatlin was questioned by reporters about how he was able to show such improvements in one season given that he was at an age that's considered past the peak for elite sprinters. He had a history of bans for PEDs but maintained that there's no wrongdoing on his part and he never failed a drug test after his return to the track in 2010. The next athlete I'm going to highlight may not have achieved as much as the others on this list in his career but he does have a certain skill which makes him unique and that skill is the ability to run his best races in the outside lanes, particularly lane 8. Reese Prescott ran his personal best of 9.93 from lane 8 and finished ahead of the rest of the field by a large margin, which made things even more impressive seeing as there was a strong headwind during the race. Prescott also set his previous personal best of 9.94 in lane 8, finishing just thousands of a second behind Christian Coleman in Birmingham in 2018 and he won the British Championship final in 2017 while running in lane 8 as well. If you consider the importance that most athletes place on the lane draw due to the advantage it gives to run in a central lane so that you can feel where you stand compared to the fastest athletes on each side of you, it reinforces just how unusual Prescott's performances are. 
Some more impressive races Prescott has had during his career was a comeback win from lane 9 in Shanghai in 2019 and taking the silver medal from lane 7 in the European Athletics Championships in 2018. When you compare Prescott to other sprinters at the top level, there are none who are placed in the outside lane so frequently, yet able to run sub 10 with such regularity. Where I believe Usain Bolt harnessed his maximum power was in major championship finals. He managed to run the three fastest races of all time in championship finals with 969 in Beijing, 958 in Berlin and 963 in London. In the 100 meters, he won three Olympic goals and three world championship goals, although he did make it to two finals in which he failed to win. In the 2011 world champs, he was disqualified for a false start and in 2017, he finished third in his last ever individual race. But despite these blemishes, his record in finals is far above what any other athlete has accomplished in the 100 meter discipline. If we want to look at a mode Usain Bolt entered that gave him a 100% win record, it would be when he got a great start compared to the rest of the field. There have been a number of big races where he won despite getting a relatively poor start, but in races where he got a great start, he was simply unbeatable and displayed his true superpowers.